Hey, what's up? It's Kelly back with another video. Today I am back with another dry face and some glossy lips, but I did shave my mustache this time. Today we're going to be going through Squid Game episode three through five. So if you haven't seen episode one and two of Squid Game, please go to my channel now and um, watch my other two breakdowns on the show. And um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, so episode three opens and the players have decided to come back to the facility to play the games. So the players arrive and there's one player who didn't get knocked out and he chokes out a driver and puts on their uniform. So it's like, oh, something's about to happen, you know? And so um, the unconscious bodies, the rest of them are stripped and dressed. Then we see Doc Su slip something um, out of one of the workers' pockets as well. And Jihan wakes up and he wakes up oh and they talk about how many people have decided to come back so then that's when um Jihan meets Sangwoo and Abdul and they have a conversation and decide to form an alliance um since they decided to come back so then we see the other alliances forming Doksu tries to recruit Sangbyok and she tells his minions about his past so like how he owes money and like how he freaking sucks basically so then member 212 comes over trying to flirt with Doc Su and join his alliance and her name is Neo and she's just like this frail woman who looks like she's about middle-aged and so he's just kind of like um what can you do for me you know like no so um honestly if she hadn't been talking much to say Byok they could have started an alliance together you know but she's just so freaking stupid so then 91 percent of the contestants come back and the boss tells his workers that he wants to keep an eye on the other members that didn't come back it cuts to all the players in the meeting room that's what i'm just gonna be calling it from now on and they're eating and it's like food with rice and they're saying like the food isn't bad but the rice is cold sangwoo is stressed because he's trying to think of the next game that they're gonna play the worker i'm just gonna call him the secret agent right now basically the one dude that snuck in is moving through the whole entire workspace of the facility and he's watching the workers go to their rooms and i guess it's time for them to do like a head count so you know he's in someone's uniform so he has to go like you know be counted for as that person or that's gonna blow his whole mission so as he's standing there waiting to get counted for one of the workers is like watching him and he just like looks at him and turns back away you know so then um yeah basically it was head count to go to sleep as um the lights go out and all the other players are in the room waiting to go to sleep player 212 neo was begging to go to the restroom and literally like begging so hard and everything just to get in like with the guard and so he lets her use the restroom say Byok comes up and says that she has to use the restroom too and so you know Neo is like, you just saw me sit up and beg the whole time, didn't even offer to help, and now you want to use the restroom with me, you know, but the guard is just like, come on. So, you know, they freaking go to the restroom, and Neo really just wanted to go smoke a cigarette, because this half a snuck, she had like a little packet. It was like a little egg thing inside of her private and she literally had like some cigarettes and a lighter in that i was like oh my gosh so she was on the toilet smoking we see the agent is inside of the little room that the workers go in and he's eating and he's about to eat there's food on the table but um he's afraid to remove his mask because there's a camera inside of the room so he just turns his back to the camera and eats like in a corner like a freaking rat so then um 212 is in the stall smoking and she gets caught by king so then king is looking around and i thought she was trying to escape but then she pulled out a knife and used it to open the vent that was um in the stall that 212 was in and so she's like what are you doing say so Bjork is like if you just keep watch for me like i'll tell you what i saw when i come back so she's like all right bet so she goes in there and she's climbing through the vents and she's like you know she sees people <laughs> i'm terrible at my edges neo is stalling like telling the worker through the door like oh i um i have the worst diarrhea you know like this is gonna be a minute like you know just screaming and stuff being outrageous and um say Byok, like sees the workers in the kitchen and they're basically i suck at doing my edges i never do them honestly she sees the workers in the kitchen and they're like cooking like this green sludge and like pouring sugar in there. And they're basically like cooking this green sludge with sugar and like stirring it in a pot over a stove. So she's like, what the heck? Like, I guess this has something to do with the next game, you know? So she comes back through and um, Neo is like, what did you see? And she's like, oh, I'll tell you tomorrow. Cause then the guard like literally comes in like, right. I thought she wasn't gonna make it, but as the guard busts in the stall, like, 
um, Neo is just on the toilet pretending to like have terrible diarrhea and Sabiak was just standing there handing her toilet paper like, you know, and they started calling him a perv. It was pretty amazing. So then we cut to the next day and there's a player on the stall eating a piece of bread and we see a little red note inside of his bread. And um, honestly, I don't, and honestly, I don't know if I should say like anything about this because I really, I guess it's kind of like a spoiler and I hate spoilers. So I'm not going to do that to you. He finds a note in the bread and um, so the alarms ring and the players are told that the next game is about to start and they have to line up. So they line up and um, they basically go into a room and they're telling them that they have to pick a shape. And so basically the shapes on the walls are a star, a heart and um, an umbrella and a circle and a triangle and so um saying so then Jihan is like should we all stick together or like split up since we don't know what the game is going to be and Chang Wu is like oh let's all split up and I was like I feel like he knows what the game is going to be you know but he was just looking real suspicious you know so then the game starts and yes it's the honeycomb game that everyone has been talking about it's terrible I've watched so many videos on it and I still don't remember what it's called but basically they have to cut out the shape of um the the shape they have to cut out the shape they chose into a honeycomb cookie with um a needle and if your honeycomb breaks then you are eliminated so and the game begins and freaking jihan chose a freaking umbrella because his mom used to because he used to always forget his umbrella when he was younger and his mom used to have to bring it to him and i was like oh that's so sweet i thought it was gonna be good luck you know and so he's like sheesh like you know boy was i wrong and so um and he's like, boy, was I wrong, you know? So the game starts and freaking um, Chung Wu is just sitting there looking at him. Like, he just looks at him and the game freaking starts. And I was just like, wow, like, you know, I feel like he knew something. And so, um, you know, everyone's trying their best. We see the players, like, you know, just cheating and doing, like, anything, trying to win. Like, Neo, basically, she had her lighter and she, she was lighting the needle and using it to, like, stab the honeycomb. So that it'd be, like, a sharper and cleaner cut, which was very smart. We cut to... um agent 29 and that's basically it. so then we find out that the secret agent he has stolen agent 29's identity so um he's sneaking around and then um one of the guards comes up and is like agent 29 like where were you the other night and he's just like uh i don't know and he's like you know because they're not supposed to talk honestly when they're addressed so he's just like standing there like uh and so he's like um i'm gonna have to talk to you when this is over so we're like oh crap like you know he's about to freaking die um in the end jihan decides to lick the shape out of his um honeycomb because he can see um that there's like little holes in it through the sunlight and i guess he feels like if he moistens the bread he'll, he'll have like an easier chance to peel it honestly um i felt like if he got it wet the whole cookie would just crumble you know but i was just like go off and so he licks the cookie and then all the other players start doing it Il starts doing it and they freaking it does it and they freaking get the kit they get the shape out of their they get the shape out of their cookie so then um one player breaks his cookie in the end and he's about to get shot because he didn't make it and he stabs one of the workers in the eye and takes his gun and he holds another worker hostage and all of the all of the other workers turn around and shoot out all the other players that didn't make it to the end that didn't cut the shapes out of their cookies properly and then they turn back around the player has forced the hostage to take off his mask and they're not allowed to show their faces like they're not allowed to um take off their masks and show their identity so the worker shoots himself and then after the worker shoots himself the guards shoot the kid and that's when we find out that once you show your face you die so then um number 29 was about to take the dead worker's mask so then in the episode ends and it looks like number 29 takes the worker's mask so then we go to episode four i'm not sponsored but let's see what i got from amazon the needle was like this but without this this is real cute amazon amazon gotta gotta love that amazon i got the little cup holders that all the tiktok girls have for the guests that don't come over. It's like eight. There's four. They're so cute. It's, I think they call them like Sakura cup holders. Dude, my brain is like exploding. 
it's like um i don't know what it's called like not plastic rubber it's like a rubbery so cute i love it i broke my nails so sad anyway back to the killing so we open on episode four and everyone meets back up after the last game and celebrates and Sungwoo is like visibly upset that everyone made it like Jihan was like oh everyone made it he was like isn't that great and Sungwoo was just like yeah that's great you know it's just like what like you know everybody could see and hear you right so then we find out that 79 players died and the guards bring food out and it's just one egg and a soda like they are these people are crazy these like the people that own this facility are not even masterminds, complete that psychopath. So <laughs> everyone in Doc Su's gang is like, you know, big, beefy. They need more than one egg and a soda. So they decide to go back for seconds and five players end up losing out on a meal. So they confront the guards like, why don't we have a meal? And then one woman is like, it was them. They came back for seconds. I was like, oh my gosh, like what a snitch. So then it breaks out into a fight with her and then this dude jumps in it. And so Doc Su beats him to death. And then Jihan is like, this man just died. Like somebody help him. And the guards were just standing there like, so then he comes to find out that they don't care. Like you can die. And I'm like, are you stupid? Like, did you not just witness them turn around and shoot out everyone? Like, where is the logic? So then it cuts down to a basement and it's revealed basically that one of the players is a doctor and he's in there like, you know, cutting up a person um, in return for, and he's in there cutting up people, harvesting organs in return for tips on which games will be next. Jihan and his team get a hunch that there's going to be violence in the night, so they decide to look out for each other. Jihan tries to persuade Se Byok to join his team, but um, she decides that she's better off on her own. 28 comes to pick up the bodies from the end of the game, but 29 isn't there. So then it cuts to the doctor being stressed back downstairs in the basement because the workers won't give him a clue. And so I call them workers and guards if you ever get confused. And so the guard tells the doctor that they don't know, they don't know which game is going to be played next, but he, he needs to hide in a safe place for the night because they gave them only a little Little bit of food so that they would go crazy and start fighting because they want to dwindle down some of the numbers so they tell him that he needs to get with the strongest team and send him back so um the doctor asks doc sue if he can join his group and doc sue is like very reluctant at first like you're you look like a lame like what can you do for me and he's like i know what the next game is gonna be <laughs> he lets him in the night begins and the violence commences the havoc begins to wreak and um the old man is like literally screaming in the middle like of the room like do your toes ever get stuck together and you feel so uncomfortable the old man basically is in the middle of the facility like screaming please um stop this madness because they turned the lights out because they were like i guess fighting back too well so then so then um the havoc is wreaked and the facility people they turn out the lights because they want it to go real lit you know so the old man goes in the middle of the room and he starts screaming and pleading like please turn on the lights like please make it stop we're all gonna kill every like we're all gonna kill each other there's not gonna be anyone left to play so they turn the lights back on and then the guards come in and they take the bodies and 80 bodies and there's 80 players left so you know their plan succeeded Everyone's chilling with their teams and Neo and Doc Su are talking and they get into like a little kind of like argument flirtation conversation and Doc Su basically calls her old and then she like makes him say that she's 19 that she looks like she's 19 which is we not going to get into it girl so then they end up sleeping together and we all know she basically just did this trying to like win his trust because she thought she was like so magical like he was just gonna like be like whipped over her but I'm just like girl like I guess. You know, like, that's stupid. And the next game begins, and Doc Su, like, literally kicks Neo to the curb, like, immediately because they got a tip on the next game from the doctor, and they don't need any tiny women for this, you know, because it's just going to hold them back. So she's, like, crying and begging him, and he throws her to the floor. He's like, you're so pathetic. Like, you're so desperate. Like, just get off of me, you know? So, um, they walk into a white room, and a voice says that they have to pair into groups of ten, so um 
for the next game. So basically, um, the groups form and and Jihan is left with the old man ill, two women, and four weaker men. So um, Doc Su's team goes first and they win. So and four weaker men. So the game commences and it's tug of war. So um, Doc Su's team goes first and they win, obviously, because he's going to go pick like all the big beefy guys, you know. So um, then it's Jihan's team's turn and they're so scared because they're going against an all male team and they have like, you know, all these weak guys and two women. But um, O gives them like the rundown. Like I used to play this game all the time when I was little and we used to always win because we had a secret formula we would always use. So basically when the game starts, you swing, all the players swing their body back, like shifting the weight for like 10 seconds. And then if they can hold out for that long, then I believe they release their bodies and then the other team will fall forward and then everyone is supposed to begin to like jump back and pull with their hardest like as if they're rowing and jumping back at the same time and it's supposed to pull the team but then um and the other guys you know they, they just end up being a bit stronger because it's all men and so they start pulling them back and then um freaking G G Sung Woo gets a smart idea and I was like why don't they do this the whole time like I was so frustrated like just lean forward and Sung Woo is like okay we're all gonna lean forward at the count of four and like right as they're like low-key about to die they all lean forward and the freaking team from the other side falls and they pull them to victory and they fall off like this beam and the rope cuts them and they fall into like darkness and die so then the episode ends we open to episode five and it's basically just like the end of their tug of war match again and um it shows them winning again so then jihan's team returns to the meeting to the main room and doc Su's team was like all surprised that they made it and freaking neo she's like mm -hmm. like you know she was freaking living in that so we see the bodies getting taken away and discover that some of the bodies aren't incinerated and um and we already know like it's for the organs to get harvested so we see some of the bodies get sent away and there's like we see like a button that the workers push to send like a specific bodies and things like that certain bodies to the doctor so um they uncover a dead player and the guard says that the cover the player is still breathing and to go get the doctor so they go pull the doctor and um i'm just gonna take this off because child we So the group is just sitting down in the main room, um, recalling their victory to each other, eating their corn. And Neo was up everyone's butt after she was talking like all the mess saying all their strategies weren't going to work. So then um, Sabiok mentions that a man in the front of the bed, of, that a man in the bed in front of hers died last night because he was crossed by one of his team members. So she really doesn't trust any of them. Like, you know, so while they're all sitting up being so friendly... So then Jihan suggests that they build a fort to protect themselves just in case the violence breaks out again that night. And so they begin to build a fort out of the spare beds. And Doc Su walks over to Jihan as they're building the fort and is like, oh, you think this is going to stop us? We're going to come back tonight and we're going to tear all this down and tear you guys up. So then uh, Jihan is like, to be honest, I think you should be a bit more concerned about the new people on your team because you don't know all of them and um, anyone is liable to do anything. And anyone is liable to do anything when there's money involved. So then that makes Doc Su a bit like, you know, um, he, he got a bit paranoid, you know, and concerned. And he's and one of his trusted teammates comes over and is like, so are we going to get him again tonight? Like, who are we going to get first? And he's like, um, to be honest, let's just stand down tonight. You know, like, um, I think we all need to get our rest and prepare for the next game. So he's like, all right. So then he's like, where's the doctor at? And his friend, his teammate is like, oh, he's gone. So they're like, what the heck, you know? So then it cuts to the doctor, um, moving like the facility and the whole thing is like a big freaking maze and he's being escorted by a guard. So he goes into a room and then it opens and Sangbun and Jihan decide to stay up and watch for safety all night just in case like Doc Su is bluffing. So then Il and um O Il and Ali Abdul decide to stay up with them as well and they're gonna work in shifts. So the nights roll in and Ali and Sangbu are talking about their past with each other and Ali reveals that he's from Pakistan and he's getting money for his wife and year old son and he asks Sangwu why he's there and Sangwu is like oh same reason just for money you know like Sangwu I don't trust him like 
Okay, so then guard 29 and guard 28 go for a talk and 28 says since 29 saved his life in the past he defended his mess up to the other higher ups but he's on thin ice so he better get it together because he's not gonna defend him again so they walk into the procedure room and there's a dead player laying on the table cut open and the doctor is harvesting his organs and the other guards in the room the higher ups they begin addressing 29 because they couldn't make their order from the night before because of his mess up like everything has to go specifically in order you know or else like it's going to be a domino effect so they start rushing the doctor and he's like um this takes time i'm out here playing for my life and i'm tired so then the guard is like well that's why we tell you about the games beforehand and give you extra food so then it cuts to Jihan and he's up for his watch with O and Jang and Doc Su and player 40, the dude who um, was asking him who were they going to attack first earlier, they're both up as well looking for the doctor saying he's been gone too long. So then it cuts back to the doctor and he's in there still cutting up the dude and the guards, there's two guards with him and they're like being like so like ugh, just such jerks like they're like honestly he was like well um we can help you if you want you know like I saw I heard it's not that difficult and then one of the other ones is like yeah I saw it on the news they said that most nurses perform the surgeries better than their doctors like they're just being buttholes the doctor is like I can do it myself like if you both just shut up so then the rude one is like well is that the way that a quack who killed his own patient talks like you know so then the doctor's like, well, there was a player before who was still alive. So you're not even doing your job while you want to complain. So then we cut to Jihan. So then we cut back to the main room and smoke bombs go off and a riot scene begins. And then it cuts to Jihan sitting there hallucinating the whole thing. And we see somebody like die. Like they got beat in the back of the head with something and died. I'm like, woo. Oh, like, you know, snaps him out of it. And he's like, is everything okay? It's just his past. I guess it's just exposition. So um, Jihan confesses that he worked at a car part place for 10 years and they ended up going on strike because the bosses ruined the company and fired everyone at once trying to blame them for it. And, you know, he had Guyon on the way and he had been working there for so long. So things went bad and they ended up striking for a while and they had to stay up and keep watch just like they were now in fear of the police so I guess he just had like some PTSD from that so then O explains that he heard about it on the news and that someone died there and then um he begins to have pains and Jihan says that he has a fever and he needs to lay down so um then it cuts back to the medical room and one of the guards explains that one of the bodies was still alive and it had green eyes and he almost died and the zombie only had one kidney and that um he had to so then in that he only had one kidney and then it cuts back to oh and jahan and jihan is trying to give a water but there's none and then say bok say Byok gives him some and then it cuts back to the guard so then the guard is explaining about what happened with the zombie and number 29 is there and he's just like so what happened next like you know like he wants to know and then the guard's just like well why do you even want to know because you were there and 29 is like well i have been out of it for a while and i don't really remember and the guard is like well you're the one who got rid of the body with your own hands you know and 29 like you could just feel like his insides just like you know and then the doctor just freaking freaks out because um they just need to shut up you know and he just can't concentrate so then he's telling them to get out and it cuts to O, and he's back in the bed and i guess his tumor is messing with him because in the beginning um in the first episode he basically said like he didn't have much time because he had a brain tumor i believe and he was just living his life out and so um So then it so then um he's in the bed laying down and Jihan thanks Say Byok for the water she gave him and she tells him that he can pay her back tomorrow. So then 29 gets on with his mission with 28 because he finally got the organs from the doctor. And um as they're leaving, the doctor snaps at the guards because they won't tell him the next game. So then it cuts back to 28 and 29 and they go into the kitchen to a secret fridge and 29 didn't know that you were supposed to pull it over open on the other side too. Like 28 was just waiting like, what are you doing? So another suspicious thing, you know, so then they go down this passage and it's basically like a freaking ladder like into a cave and um, it cuts back to the doctor and he's holding one of the guards hostage and he tells the other guard to go find out what the game is. And um, the guard that he's holding hostage is like, wait, he can't go until he has the key to the control room and it's in my pocket. 
he said it in a very suspicious way. I was like, wow, this, they're, they're, they're stupid, you know? So he's like, you can get it yourself if you don't believe me. So as the doctor's freaking reaching in his pocket, the freaking guard like attacks him. And then somehow like, um, the doctor ends up getting on top of him and stabs the guard to death. So then the other one is coming at him and then he just freaking runs out of the room. So then it cuts back to 28 and 29 and they're going down the ladder into the cave and 29 notices a bomb and 28 says it's a bomb for the VIP so that they can get out safely and destroy the facility if it's ever necessary. So then 29 is like, who are the VIPs? And 28 is like, I don't know, you know? So then, um, it cuts back to the doctor and he's going through like all these rooms trying to find a way out and he ends up back in the playroom. He, he ends up back in the playroom from the game before and um and then it cuts then it cuts back to 28 and 29 and um they enter like this like room section of the cave and so 28 um pulls out a knife and he's like number 29 why do you want to know who the vips are like you know and he's like i'm very curious like about you because you want to know he's like you're so much more curious now and your voice has changed like take off your mask or you'll die so then and 29 takes off his mask and clearly is not the same freaking guy, you know? So he's like, who are you? Then 29 pulls out a gun and he's like, take off your mask or you'll die. Right, so then it cuts to the doctor back in the playroom and the guard that chased him, the guard that um chased him out of the room basically tells him like, if you just come clean, um, if you just come clean, we can forget about this now and you can just go back and play the game and nobody gets hurt. Like you're much more valuable alive than dead. Think about it. And um, he's like, I'll even to make it like, you know, more personal and so that you'll trust me, I'll take off my mask. So he takes off his freaking mask and um, the freaking front man is behind him. The big bad dude that is running this game, um, he comes up from behind him with a group of the other guards and shoots the freaking guard because he took off his mask and showed him his face, you know? you know. So then the doctor is just like, oh, I'm so sorry, like, you know, it won't happen again. And the front man shoots him too. So, um cut back to 29 and 28 and um 29 has 28 at gunpoint and he's asking him about the zombie because he thinks it's his brother and basically we come to find out that's why he's here because he's looking for his brother that went missing and that was his apartment he was like going through you know basically so he thinks his brother is there because of the card so he thinks it's his brother because he because he gave his brother um one of his kidneys so um the guard so 28 tells him like no it wasn't your brother like that was actually a woman so he freaking shoots him because he's like what the heck you know man so then 29 goes through a secret passage and it takes him to the front man's lounge and it's just like oop and so then we see a phone like we saw the front man on the phone a minute ago so then he walks out and so um 29 walks over to the phone and he tries to make a phone call to the police but there's no dial tone so then he's hiding and then the front man comes back in and he walks over to the phone. He's just like scanning the room. I guess he felt weird about it. And he notices that the phone is like flipped back on the receiver upside down. It's like one of those old home phones, you know? So he's like, oh, you think you're good? But like, you know, this isn't the way I put my phone down, basically. So he got him with the old the old chip bag he doesn't find 29 the front man doesn't find 29 in the room so he begins retracing their mission and he finds 28 dead and they figure he's escaped but then one of the guards tell him that no oxygen tapes hurt no oxygen tanks are missing so he must still be like in the facility so then they begin the sirens and um 29 is just like navigating through the facility like with the gun just like ready and i'm like dude you have all these cameras all these freaking weird doors and all this stuff and nobody saw him so he ends up in a room and it's a record room so they gather all the players in the middle of the room and um player 40 explains to doc sue that the doctor is nowhere to be found like i haven't seen the doctor so um the guards are calling like all the players to the middle of the room and they see oh in the bed they rip off his 
they rip off his cover telling him to get up and he's like laying there with pee all over himself so everyone's just like dang you know so then it cuts back to um 29 and he's going through um these books that he found he's going through all the records that he found and he sees this record that has like basically all the winners from like the past decade i guess he sees his brother's name in the winners list so um he goes and finds the record book from the year that he was he sees his brother's profile page so he says his name and then the episode ends so that is squid game um episode what three through five hope you enjoyed i'll be posting another one on wednesday and that is going to be episode six through nine so um Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, but once you really think about my...